Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I've got another new card featuring all new fall and winter 2018 release products. This is a mini pop-up box card. On the front of the card, it may just look like a traditional winter scene card, but when you open up the card, there's this adorable pop-up box that features some cute little um, embellishment and things. It's just a really fun um, accessory to create interactive cards. And interactive cards are kind of all the rage and this is a super fun one to create. Because I'm using so many new products, I did want to share kind of putting the whole thing together and not just the uh, mini pop-up box. So we're gonna start with the front of the card. You might see there that I have a panel that looks like Snowfall. This is the landscape snowfall die. There is also a portrait. So there are a couple of different options. Then I've used some of the new wood grain neutrals cardstock with the stitched hillside borders. And I've die cut two of those. And I die cut a forest border from some noble fir cardstock. Right here, I was just removing the, all those little falling snow inside pieces from that landscape snowfall using the Spellbinders tool in one die. And then I'm going to layer some of the white sparkle cardstock. This is also new back behind where the snowfall is going to be on my card. Um, you can see it doesn't go all the way down. I just want it to be back behind where you're going to see the falling snowfall. So it's a white on white effect, but those glittery little circles then add instant interest to the front of the card. I like that you see that little sparkle there. Then I'm going to attach my layers, that forest um, border die first. And this is just to give the illusion of a, of a forest scene. And then my two stitched hillside borders out of the dark brown wood grain neutral cardstock. I think it's a little bit hard to tell that it's got that wood grain here on camera. Hopefully in the photos you see it a little bit better. Maybe right there you can see that. Awesome, awesome texture. Just something a little bit different. And we're going to layer those along the bottom edge. All of this is attached to the front of a side fold card base. Let's take a look at the mini pop-up box die now. I die cut that from white cardstock. There are so many ways to do this. I kind of kept the inside of my card minimal. I have a lot going on on the front and I really just wanted it to kind of be a fun little element inside. So all of those flaps on the front are going to be folded over so that the box kind of folds up and out. Then those triangle pieces are what's going to actually attach this to your card. And then that little tab secures the box together. Now I played with this trying to figure out what way would be the best to kind of assemble everything. and. If you're gonna decorate the sides of the box, I think it's so much easier to do when it's flat. I took the little stitched rectangle that comes with the mini pop-up box and die cut it from some of the Knit Picky Fall pattern paper. This gives some color to the box and immediately adds a little bit of interest. My color scheme was definitely neutrals with traditional red and green. So that's kind of what I stuck with. And then I need to decide what insert. There's two different inserts you can use depending on how your box opens. I'm going to use the traditional insert. I'm actually using score tape here on the tabs that are going to secure the box to the card and that little tab that makes the box shape. I played around with some tabs. You can see they're hanging out inside there. Ignore that. I ended up not using those. If I was going to open this more like a book, I would have used those and I will be sharing another card with those later on, but you just simply put kind of straddle those triangles around the seam of your card, press that down in place. And when you fold it, it folds flat. You guys, I, that's not like my forte coming up with things like this. So I think it's so much fun 
playing with these and creating with them. I think it's so amazing. I love when companies come up with these awesome interactive things. I'm using the insert that's just straight across. So my pop-up is gonna be a little bit more at an angle. When you're opening your card like a book, if you go over to the Lawn Fawn blog, I know that Kelly is um, sharing some awesome projects, um, I think on Wednesday, that will show the two options. I love that there's two options and I think it's really great because then it's kind of a little bit more of a straight on look with your pop-ups instead of at an angle like you're gonna see them here. So all my little inserts I'm putting in place, I used three. I used three inserts, you could really use as many as you want. I felt like that was enough. I'm gonna have some like little confetti coming up out of my box. I'm gonna have another little bear with a Santa hat coming up out of the box, the rest of my sentiment, and then Santa and his sleigh. So kind of, there's a lot, but I don't feel like it's overwhelming. And for me, it was enough. Now with the mini pop-up box is this great little banner. I'm gonna die cut the banner twice from some chili pepper cardstock. Again, keeping with my red and green theme. Then there's these little pieces here, this die I'm showing you. I'm gonna use, die cut that from some of that brown wood grain cardstock. This is what kind of holds your banner up. It's kind of like little sticks that hold it up from your box. On my two banners, one banner is gonna go on the front of the card and I'm going to use sentiments from the Winter Skies stamp set and I'm going to stamp wishing you a. Now I kind of had to finagle this a little bit because it's actually wishing you a magical and then Christmas. I built my own sentiment. However, a magical Christmas won't fit on that second banner. I already discovered that so I need to add the word A and a little dot, dot, dot there with my white pen to the banner on the front of the card. And then I just need to be really careful with how I stamp the words magical and Christmas on the second one, on the second banner. And that works perfectly. I like when my sentiment kind of moves from the front of the card to the inside. It also lets the recipient know that there's something fun going on on the inside of the card. I flip my banners over using acrylic block to kind of line them up. It works perfectly. Then flip the banner back over to the right side and start stamping. For the second banner, I stamped the word Christmas first and then I will stamp the word magical. I am using the new clear embossing and watermark ink from Lawn Fawn. This is a fantastic addition to the Lawn Fawn collection. Lots of great new basics with the fall and winter release. Not only amazing fall and winter stamps and dyes like we know and love from Lawn Fawn, but great card stocks, um, glitter card stocks, vellum, wood grain, new ink colors, all kinds of things, a bone folder. I mean, just some fantastic basics. I love seeing Lawn Fawn add to their amazing collection with these things. So we've got our banners. We've kind of got our die cut pieces. Off camera, I die cut from green and red sparkle cardstock paper, the little confetti that's gonna come up out of the box. And I'm just gonna set that step aside while I stamp my images. Now the majority, the new ones are from Winter Skies. That's gonna be the little bears and the trees. Um, there's also some foxes in this. I love this stamp set. Love, love, love it. I'm going to color everything in with Copic markers. G82, 94, and 99 are my tree colors. Then the other bear I'm going to use is from a, a stamp set that was released last year called For You Deer. That's the front and the back of the bear. You probably wouldn't have to use the back of the bear. I did, but I don't really know that it's necessary. You could really just use the little front piece if you wanted to. Um, and then I thought he needed a Santa hat. So I went way back uh, to one of the first stamp sets from Lawn Fawn, the Hats Off to You, which has lots of great little hats that work on so many of the critters in the Lawn Fawn collection, and grab that Santa hat. So it's great to mix and match 
from things that you might already have in your collection. I'm coloring in anything red with our 35, 37, and 59. This is kind of my new favorite red color combo for holiday, for autumn, just really, really pretty. In addition to coloring in the scarves for my little bears for the front of the card, we're gonna take a white pen and add even more detail because that's kind of my jam. I love doing that, I think it's so fun. The Santa hat, same red colors. Let's add some color to these bears with warm gray four, one, and zero, or zero, zero, I think it is. So this is just a hint of color. It adds more shading than anything. And even though they have quite a bit of gray tint to them, um, they still appear white. So it's really just gives some nice depth and dimension to these cute little bears. So it's kind of like they're sitting in the forest watching the snow fall. Lots of ways to use these. I can't wait to show you even more ideas as we get a little bit closer to sharing more holiday cards in upcoming Lawn Fawn Inspiration Weeks. Now, once I get my blending exactly the way I want it, I am gonna take my darker marker, the Warm Gray 4, and add some little dot detail to these critters. It's one of my favorite things to do. My final scarf, Instead of going red, I went green. So same green colors as my trees, G82, 94, and 99. This also is another new green color combination to me, something I used, I, th I think, for my double slider surprise card with the uh, coffee cups, if you've seen it. I'll link to it at the end of this video. Um, and I really, really liked it, so I've been using it a lot. I think these two color combinations are fantastic for holiday or for Christmas. Let's color in our last bear. Again, same color combination as the rest of the bears, warm gray zero, zero, one, and four. And this one, since we've got the front facing bear, I'm gonna do the insides of his ears and his cheeks with R zero, zero, just to give them a little bit of pinkish hint to them and then blend it all out again and add some little dot detail. And then we're gonna die cut everything with the coordinating dies. And I'm using the coordinating winter skies dies, the winter, the coordinating for you deer dies, and the coordinating hats off to you dies. Let's finish building the front of our card and then move on to finishing that awesome mini pop-up box inside. So we've got our three little bears here, polar bears. Make sure and remove any residue. If you use a powder tool like I did to kind of help keep the embossing powder only on the stamped area, I like to make sure and wipe away any excess. Add some little dots so that the, the recipient knows that the sentiment, there's something else going on inside the card at least. Adhere the banner to the top, and then we're gonna tuck those three trees kind of along that first border along the bottom edge of our card. And now we can move on to the inside as soon as we get our embellishing done. This is kind of like my final thing I always do. So I'm finishing up the front and then we'll move to the inside. But I decided to do a stripe design for the red scarf that the two bears are sharing. So I'm gonna just do a thin white line with my white jelly roll pen. You can do lots of different designs. I like plaids. I like to do a combination of stripes and dots. Um, you could do polka dots. I love decorating scarves like this. It's one of my favorite things to do. And then the green scarf, we are gonna just add some little polka dots, like little random ones. I decided not to do a distinct pattern and instead went with something a little bit more random. And then I am gonna add some little white highlights to the stamped bears and I'm gonna add them to the trees. I added a black jelly roll pin to the noses. I think that because you're not seeing their face especially, I almost always do this when they're front facing as well, but I think it just kind of draws your eye and really defines their cute little noses. And then of course those little white highlights on the trees. 
So the inside, let's pop that up. We've got our box already. It's got the cute little green sides to it. And we're gonna start with the banner. And I'm going to add some glue dots to the wider edge of the little sticks here. And then I thought it would be easiest to put a little liquid adhesive up at the smaller tips. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to hold the banner in place. Tweezers are super great. This might not need it actually. I think that kind of worked good. So I need to be kind of careful while that glue is drying, but as soon as that is dry, I will fold this shut so you can see it better. A little glue dot on my polar bear and we're gonna tuck him kind of hanging out over that first little box insert. And then I'm gonna put a little adhesive on the back piece and just kind of sandwich him there. It does finish him off nice. And you can see that this just folds completely flat, so cute. Now I ended up taking that off um, and I'm gonna put it back on. I used a little liquid adhesive instead. It was gonna work a little bit better. So just reattaching that. Um, I've got some little confetti pieces. These were a little tricky. They kept sticking to my tweezers. I think my tweezers had some glue residue on them. When I cleaned off the tip of my tweezers, I found that it worked a lot better. I've also got some glue on the Santa hat. We're gonna pop on that little guy's head. And I want to have a nice assortment of confetti popping up out of the box. I think that adds a really fun touch. Kind of a last minute addition was I stamped the Santa and on his sleigh with some black ink on cardstock, die cut it. And then I like to just use scraps of acetate that I keep left over oftentimes from shaker cards. If you've seen me do a pop-up box before, you've probably seen me do this. I have a whole little, um, drawer little area full of scraps and i cut them into thin strips and they're perfect for pop-up cards i'm going to attach santa and his sleigh to one of these and then have it kind of popping up out of the box that way there isn't anything kind of ugly i for lack of a better term sticking up or colorful it's just a clear little acetate piece so these aren't really a product you can buy but if you have any acetate um, like this or something left over from packaging, give it a try. I love using these because I think it works really well. And I want it just to stick up high enough that it sticks up above the magical Christmas banner and is secured to that little insert. And then when you fold the box, or fold the card and open it up, the box pops up. So I'm gonna show you this in real time, not sped up so you can see how cute this is. So here is the front of the card. When you open it up, that little mini pop-up box kind of springs up and out and it kind of just looks like it's bursting forth. How cute is this? I think anyone would love to get an interactive card with a fun little pop-up box inside. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this mini pop-up box card featuring new Lawn Fawn stamps and dies and cardstock from the Fall and Winter 2018 release. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more cards featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thank you guys for joining me today and we will see you next time.